I'm here today in my home village of uh, Uchtarad in West Galway. And I'm here outside a building that served as a nursing home for about 25 years, up to its closure about six months ago. Today, it houses a number of Ukrainian people, so it becomes part of the vast network of accommodation centers, through hundreds of them throughout the country that are used to accommodate the many thousands of foreign nationals who are flooding in here at an ever-increasing rate. This policy of promoting and fostering mass immigration, unrestricted and uncontrolled, is part of a deliberate government strategy to make Irish people a minority in their own country in as short a period of time as possible. It's part of a globalization strategy promoted by the EU, among others, and as always, the EU has found willing collaborators in our contemptible puppet government. This government, in common with the rest of the Irish political establishment, is quite willing to overlook the many downsides of uncontrolled immigration, such as the current appalling housing crisis, the shambles of a health service overwhelmed by sheer numbers, and the diversion of billions of euro of public funding from deserving Irish people to foreign nationals. As regards the Ukrainians, this is justified on the grounds that they are fleeing from a terrible war that puts their lives in danger. And of course it's true that there is a terrible war going on in parts of the Ukraine. But what is not mentioned, what is never mentioned, is that the Ukraine is a vast country over 40 times the size of Ireland and the vast swathes of that country are what could be considered safe zones that are untouched by the conflict. Right up to the present day, many thousands of units of accommodation in the Ukraine are being advertised online as being available on sites such as uh, Booking.com and TripAdvisor. So the question needs to be asked then, why are all these properties not used to house Ukrainian people who are fleeing the war zone? Up to a few months ago, this nursing home had looked after thousands of sick elderly people over the years, the vast majority of whom were Irish people from the locality, including a relative of my own who spent her last couple of years here. Like the other residents here, she was well looked after, but at a price, and it wasn't cheap. Many of the um, residents' families at that time struggled to meet the costs, and I'm sure that many families of present-day nursing home residents still face the same struggle today. The Ukrainian people in this country, almost certain, in this building, almost certainly have no background, ties or connections of any kind with this country. Yet from all available information, the Irish state provides their accommodation and other necessities free of charge. So we are left with a situation whereby young, fit, healthy Ukrainians with no previous connections with Ireland <coughs> get everything free for an indefinite length of time in complete contrast to elderly, sick, vulnerable Irish people who were part of the, Ir the fabric of Irish society, but who had to pay through the nose for the privilege of spending their fine years under this very same roof. Does anything illustrate the skewed, treacherous, anti-national priorities of our government? One other point worth considering is this. What if Russia wins the war and annexes the Ukraine, or even a part of it, and the many thousands of Ukrainians currently in Ireland are afraid to go home or simply decide they don't want to go home? In such a scenario, what becomes of them? Does the Irish state, i.e. the Irish taxpayer, maintain and support them for years or even decades into the future? I would love to hear 
uh, government representative give an answer to that question, but I won't hold my breath. It's time that the Irish people woke up to what's happening in their country. Time is rapidly running out in which to prevent the destruction of this nation. The National Party is the only party in the country committed to putting Ireland and the Irish people first. So I would urge you to join and support the National Party now before time runs out and we lose all control of our own destiny. Er yes, er I.